Well, Shelly Royal, one of the problems at this stop is when the bus was stopped here at the platform, it would partially block off part of that intersection there. Now that problem has since been fixed, but there are still a lot of problems with the buses themselves and whether or not the city will get millions of dollars in federal funding. These are brand new buses. There should be no cracks in the frames. Cracks on the back of several Albuquerque rapid transit buses is only one of many serious problems outlined today by Mayor Tim Keller. Other problems, mirrors on each side of the bus hitting poles at art stops. Art buses are supposed to travel 275 miles before they need to be charged. Right now, they're barely reaching 200, and the bus charging stations aren't ready to go either. The cable to the bus charging stations along with this piece referred to as the wand have not been certified to meet FTA requirements. The mayor says concerns about the platforms meeting Americans with Disabilities Act requirements have been fixed, but there's still the issue of federal funding. Unfortunately, to be clear, funds were never guaranteed. That was simply never the case. The total cost of art is $133 million. $106 million is supposed to come from the federal government. The city has only received about $9 million from the feds. This notion that somehow we're just waiting for guaranteed funds is factually inaccurate. $95 million in bond money has already been used to pay for art. The city will either have to pay that money back or give up plans for future projects. Our city has to live with that whether we like this project or we don't. And Mayor Keller says the city will be returning six art buses back to the manufacturer for repairs. Now I asked him if he would consider terminating the contract with that manufacturer. It's a company called BYD. He said that's something the city is looking into. Reporting live in Knob Hill, I'm Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News.